So I was raised Catholic and we went to church quite a bit um, every Easter and every Christmas. I don't remember feeling or acting spiritual, I just remember being in attendance. Um, and that's kind of how it went until I graduated high school and then joined the military. Shortly after that, my life got to a really dark place. Uh, I was abusing alcohol and just partying, and no, no direction, no vision. Um, and then it wasn't until uh, I got in trouble with the law that um, I started thinking, you know, I need to act more spiritual, more responsible, and the only place I knew that I could do that was probably back in church. Um, so that week when I was looking for uh, a place to go to church, I ran into Peter, uh, who, who was one of my coworkers, and he was reading the Bible in the shop. We had a lot of downtime. Um, so I approached him about it, and I asked him, I said, hey, you're, you're uh, reading the Bible. Are, are you a Christian? And he said, yes. And, and so that struck up a whole conversation uh, just about God and Jesus and the cross and the Word of God and all that stuff, um, which I thought I knew a whole bunch about. And talking to him and hearing his questions and hearing the things he had to say, I, I, I found out that I didn't have a clue <laughs> as to what was going on as far as that was concerned. Uh, but here's this guy, you know, who's full of light and just uh, motivated by the Scripture, obviously had the Holy Spirit in him. Um, and he's just sharing his faith and witnessing to me. And uh, I appreciated it a lot because he spoke into my life. It was very encouraging. And it just caused me to have more questions uh, and want to know more. And um, I'm thankful for that because he could have easily just said, you know, hey, yeah, I'm studying my Bible. You know, please don't disturb me. Or he could have just ignored me. Um, so uh, it was good that he took the time to to uh, speak with somebody who was a complete stranger in a completely different place than he was. So I appreciated that, that he would uh, eventually step out of his comfort zone and start to do things like pray for me and you know ask me what my needs were and things like that. Um, so eventually I invited myself to church and we went and it was awesome. And he eventually led me to Christ um, and I became a believer. We actually, <laughs> we went out to a Christian bookstore that night and, and got a Bible and a t-shirt. Um, and then the following week, he took me to a community group. I'm, I'm walking into that community group and I'm introducing myself. I'm saying, hey, I'm, I'm Everett. And they're telling me, yeah, we know. Uh, we, we've been praying for you for months to get saved. <laughs> so I just remember early on as a believer that prayer was, was very, powerful and important and, and I appreciated all those people, Peter especially because he he knew he knew what that um, what that phrase uh, love your neighbor meant. He knew that it wasn't just the people next door to you. He knew that it was in the workplace, at the coffee shop, you know, at the gym, um, to the ends of the earth, really.